In today's video, I'm going to share with you the best vitamins, minerals, and herbs for overall immune support and to boost your immune system. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. So I often get asked, what's the best way to boost my immune system, to keep my immune system strong? I'm very prone to infections or viral attacks. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly which vitamins and minerals are the best ones to take because there are so many choices out there and people are just randomly going out to the vitamin store and just buying, I, have to, I hate to say it, but garbage supplements. So what's right and what's wrong? So today I'm gonna to educate you on that. So I'm not gonna to get to every single supplement under the sun, but I wanna to get to the most important ones in all of the categories that I just mentioned. Let's start with minerals okay because minerals are really awesome for immune support for viruses especially so the number one mineral for immune support is actually calcium now most people when they think of calcium they think of bones but calcium is utilized in every area of the body and it is the most abundant mineral that exists in the body so it's crucial and very important for the immune system as well especially for viruses so in our clinic we use a form of calcium called calcium lactate which is very well absorbed compared to what's on the market which is mostly calcium carbonate that's basically just limestone so it's very difficult to absorb that citrate is sort of in the middle it's halfway decent but like i said in our clinic we use calcium lactate and that is the number one mineral for viruses especially okay now let's turn to trace minerals okay because calcium is a macro mineral then you have the smaller minerals the trace minerals the number one in this category is zinc so you've heard of zinc and i'm sure you've you've probably heard that the zinc deficiency is very common and it is it's very hard to be absorbed actually even from food because of other factors that you may be ingesting at the same time because of gut health but zinc is really really crucial for the immune system so the best forms of zinc to take are zinc orotate or zinc picolinate so trace mineral zinc is next okay now let's move over to the vitamin category so first let's talk about the number one vitamin that people think of when they think of immune system that's vitamin C so vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin meaning that it doesn't stay in your body very long you have to get it on a regular basis in order for it to be utilized it's obviously in many foods that you can get into your diet so that's a great thing but if you're not eating foods rich in vitamin C you may be having a deficiency and so this is a great vitamin to make sure you're getting enough of when you're sick now one thing I want to say as far as the vitamin C on the market about at least 90% of the vitamin C's on the market are synthetic they're not actually the whole vitamin C complex. They're just ascorbic acid, which is just a fraction of the actual vitamin C complex. So in, in a whole food form, vitamin C has other factors in it besides just ascorbic acid. So take a look at your vitamin C bottle and read the ingredients, and you will see that the only ingredient listed there is ascorbic acid. And nine times out of 10, that's basically just genetically modified corn syrup and from China nowadays. So make sure you're getting a whole whole food vitamin C. At our office, we use one from Standard Process called Cataplex C. And like I said, it contains all of the complex of vitamin C, not just ascorbic acid, which is basically a preservative. So next, let's move on to the most important fat soluble vitamin. That is vitamin D. Now I'm sure you guys have heard about vitamin D. It's all over the news all the time even your doctor is checking your vitamin d levels even though it's considered a vitamin it's also more like a hormone it's a very strong and has very strong actions in the body so the best way to get vitamin d as you probably already know is from the sun and you only need about 20 or 30 minutes a day so if you can get outside even just your face um, a part of your skin uncovered without sunglasses every day for 20 to 30 minutes or even stand near a window that would be great okay because that's the best way to get it into your body you can take it as a supplement as well however when you supplement with D you have to really be careful with all the other cofactors or what other deficiencies you could possibly have because all the vitamins work together in tandem so if you're getting too much or too little of something you could be affecting everything else so when you're taking vitamin D you have to make sure you're taking the right amount of calcium magnesium vitamin K so it's kind of a little bit complicated so you know you might want to work with someone on this to make sure you're doing the vitamin D correctly but at least 
your doctor is probably going to test your vitamin D so you'll be able to know if you're low in this vitamin and it's very important for immune health okay now last but not least we're gonna talk about the best herb in my opinion to boost overall immune health and that is echinacea so echinacea is a very popular herb and I'm sure you've heard of it now what it basically does is it boosts your innate immune system there are two branches of the immune system the innate immune system and the antibody mediated immune system so most of the immune system in our body is innate about 95 percent is innate so that's basically the way that our body just fights off any invaders that come into our body so echinacea j just makes the innate immune system stronger to help you fight things off so the product that we use at our office is from a company called mediherb and it's called echinacea premium not all echinacea formulas are created equal one of the ways that you can tell if your echinacea is good and pure is to put it on your tongue and see if it starts to make your tongue tingle a little bit if it does then you know you have a good form of it now one other thing i want to mention because autoimmune disease is really common nowadays and a lot of people think that they can't take echinacea if they have autoimmune disease well even though you might see some things online about that we, the company that we use has also done their own research into this area and they have found that the echinacea that we're using does not interfere or make autoimmune disease worse. As a matter of fact, it makes it better. So that's a very controversial subject and I'm sure some people are going to comment about it below, which is fine, but I have not seen any bad effects from using echinacea with any of my autoimmune patients so i just want to let you guys know that and i personally take it year round just to keep my immune system very strong so there you have it guys we have in the mineral category calcium is number one the number one trace mineral is zinc the number one water soluble vitamin is vitamin c the number one fat soluble vitamin is vitamin d and the number one herb is echinacea uh, by the way you guys down below you can download my free ebook that tells you more in detail about nutrient deficiencies and goes into detail about that so check it out below and download it it's yours for free if you need our help we offer free consultations and we can give you a customized protocol to help you with your individual needs all right guys thank you so much for listening stay healthy and keep your immune system strong thanks